Hello and welcome back to Five Aside Seasons with us, Mongolian Horses FC. Now, last week we finally put in a result worthy of our performances in the previous two seasons and hopefully have changed our fortunes around. Unfortunately, due to a couple of surprise results, we are still at the bottom of the table though, with 12 points, just one point behind relegation rivals, the Mr. Men. And tonight it does not get any easier as we face last season champions and current leaders of the league. Space Dockers. So, not going to be an easy game at all. A team that we've actually never beat in three seasons. We've played them six, well, this will be the sixth time we've played them. Never beaten them. We've got a couple of draws in there. But other than that, it's not been good. So, let's have a look at the lineup then. We've got a bit of a depleted squad tonight. A bit difficult to get players for this one. As we've got Joe in goal, Matt Creasy at the back, Navs on the left, Steve on the right, myself up top, and Dan Wells on the bench. And obviously, out with that knee injury. And James Heiser, who was scheduled to play, unfortunately told me after the game that he'd accidentally fallen asleep, which is not what we need. So, and sleep as ever, taking out the Venga coat on the sidelines, barking instructions at the lads. So, let's get the game underway then, as Space Dockers kick off, going from right to left. You may notice we do actually only have three outfield players on the pitch. I, well going against my own ethics there and actually turned up a bit late for this one and with Dan Wells and James Heiser also running late we were forced to start with three players so I'm on the sidelines getting ready as quick as I can for the time being we are just playing with three as you've already seen Joe make a good save as Matt Creasy breaks up the other end of the pitch there plays the ball back to Navs but like Navs does from that position quite regularly skies it so, a couple of minutes into the game, we are now back to the full complement of players as I've managed to waddle onto the pitch. Steve there going in for a big tackle, but somehow the ball's still sticking with the opposition player as he does a nice little back heel inside to their man. Cuts inside and outside. He likes to do fake shots a lot, this guy, but he's just overrun it and it's come to me as I go the other way. Going quite wide there, get the shot away, and that is high and wide of the post. A good chance that we need to be making the most of those kind of opportunities, especially against such a tough opposition. And you see Steve there getting a strong foot in. As the ball back with Navs now lays it out to me. Bit of an opportunity for a shot. Get the shot away. It's strong, but it's relatively down the middle of the goal. Steve can't quite get the rebound. As the opposition look to break now, I'm trying to get back in the position. As he cuts inside, gets the shot on his left foot. A great save by Joe, but a man free following in at the back post. Somebody not tracking their runner there, and he steals in and a very sound finish there to smash it in the bottom right hand corner. So 1 0 down then at this point as Joe ball, rolls it into me, looking for an option, lovely little run there by Navs, flick it around the corner to him, gets the shot away and again it's relatively down the middle of the goal and the keeper manages to make the save as the ball at the back now then, but the pass is intercepted, Joe again at the front post to make the save, looking to follow in, a bit sketchy there as to whether that was on the edge of the box with the ball coming away with Navs, tries to play it to Creasy, it's a bit behind him, plays it to Steve and the first touch isn't the best and a good counter attacking opportunity goes to waste. As Space Doggers now have the ball at the back, looking to play with it, flick it around the corner, and that is in the back of the net, but fortunately for us, that was just in the box, and the goal will be disallowed. As again, Space Doggers coming forward there, turning inside and out, breaking Creasy's ankles. Good possession football here by Space Doggers, just holding on to it, waiting for the run, biding their time, see a little move, pops it through Dan's legs, plays it back across the box, and finishes with a plomb. Dan will hate that more than anybody else in the team, and unfortunately for us, that is now... 2-0. And now the ref's just having a bit of a break, having a conversation there, just catching up on the week's news. And oh, he's paying attention and we can get the game back underway. Ball in possession with space dockers then, unsurprisingly I'm seeing a lot of the ball. As I just try to nip in there, tread on the ball and fall flat on my back. A position that, well, I've got used to this over the seasons now really. It's getting getting a bit old, but it still hurts a lot every single time it happens. Getting on with the game again then, Space Dockers looking to run in, get the shot away. It's a weak shot, but it does come straight back to their play. It goes for a bit of a bit of a Rabona there, quite unnecessary. Joe comes out well to smother it, but 2-0 up and the opposition already looking to showboat. So, they obviously not seeing us as much of a threat in this one as we play a bit of football. Now coming forward to me, just managed to step my man, look to whip it in the top corner, but that is just wide of the post as of last week. I'm not quite managing to get enough whips on it. As the ball coming down the other side now. And he manages to cut inside and gets the shot away. Joe a bit unsighted there. And just like the first goal, 
a missed opportunity by me has led to Space Dogger scoring on the next possession. As Navno now coming down, using those long legs of his well to poke it off the wall. You'll be able to see here from the replay, it gets away from him a little bit there, but using those long legs of him, manages to poke it off the wall, gets past his man, the keeper comes out, and Navs is just able to poke it underneath his body. So now, 3-1, we've got a goal. We need a bit more tenacity from the players, just like Nav showed there and maybe we can get back into this game then as the ball there just lost a bit by Dan getting his trick a bit wrong as the player cuts inside, cuts inside two men gets the shot away and again Joe manages to save his feet ball at the back with space doppers again now lovely little ball inside gets the toe poke just before entering the box and fortunately for us that comes back off the post Nav's now then running forward going for a little ride on the back of the space doppers player there as it comes back to crazy strong shot but not really troubling the keeper at the near post then the Space Dockers look to break and Navs though, showing his strength and pace there, managing to get back and seeing off the danger then as the referee blows for half time. So, not the best start to the half we've had. Obviously, myself and Dan and Heiser not being there on time meant we weren't, well, weren't able to start a full strength team from the off, which obviously didn't help us at all. But coming back into it a little bit at the end, they had a few good opportunities on the counter, but as we tend to do, not making the chances count. As we lose the ball then from our kickoff in the second half, the ball back with Space Dockers. But again, it's a sloppy pass, pinball at the minute at the start of this second half. But it finds its way to a Space Dockers player. Playing with it, manages to get the shot away. But fortunately for us, he spooned that shot a bit as the ball back with Joe. Space Dockers again looking to run at us, get the shot away. This guy, we know he'll shoot from everywhere. But Joe manages to get a couple of strong hands on it. As the ball comes to me now, looking to break away with not too much pace. Gets the shot away, but that is just blocked. As I manage to get a little toe in there, comes down, nice little turn. Turns again though, maybe one turn too many there. And the ball comes away with Space Dockers, who managed to get the shot away. And Joe gets a save, and it's end-to-end -end stuff at the minute there. As the ball comes back with Dan, a better effort that time, but the keeper manages to get down well and save that. The ball coming back then. Really, really end-to-end -end stuff at the minute as the player just managed to ghost around the outside with a little bit of extra pace. The rebound off the save from Joe, unfortunately, canning straight back to the opposition player, and that is now 4-1, just like that. A straight from the kickoff though, the ball comes into Nav's nice little turn shot on his left foot, and that, unfortunately for us, comes back off the post. As the space dog is player there going onto his left foot there, getting the shot away, but Joe is able to save that one quite comfortably. Nav's playing a little 1-2 with Steve, then makes the run again, back to Nav, gets the shot away, and that is a great save with the left hand there of the opposition goalkeeper. The space dockers look to come the other way then. The man standing up crazy decides he doesn't fancy it, goes to the pass, but that is a weak pass, and it finds its way back to me. Looking then for the quick 1-2 off Nav's little flick and spins just taking it away from me. And Space Dockers are able to come the other way. A strong foot in there by Creasy, able to nip in front of the player. And for now, the danger has gone. But it won't be long, no doubt, before Space Dockers are back on the attack as they come down the other side now, looking to stand me up. Nav's there getting a strong foot in. It comes back to me, bounces off the player, straight back to him. But I'm able to get a foot in again. Managed to outstrength him on the wall, come down the line. Looking for Creasy at the back post, off the wall there just about manages to find him, he stands up the goalkeeper and in the end he just pulls his shot wide of the near post, another great opportunity for us there on the counter attack. Space Dockers in attacking, lovely little back heel there, finding the open man and Joe as he often does comes to the rescue. A little free kick for us now as Navs just plays it back to me, looking for a pass up the line, Navs is there again, little volley and it's a strong shot and again the keeper down to his right hand side to save well but we're getting a lot more opportunities in this second half as the ball now coming into space dockers on the edge of the box he's got a few players around him and now he's managed to get the foot in steve is the furthest man forward plenty of time gets a shot and again the keeper is able to save well probably had the better of the opportunities in the second half at the minute and we've not managed to put any of them away as matt creasy there gets the ball gets a bit of a speculative shot away cannons back to nav's off the board just manages to step inside and wrong foot his mat in there bit of extra strength as well and just slots it under the keeper very much like his first goal. That is now 4-2. So the ball being rolled back out to Dan there. Can't exactly see what's going on but he's come back, looks for the ball into Matt Creasy, just gets tackled but it comes back to Dan, gets the shot away and that is deflected wide of the post as there's a bit of trouble against the ball there. I managed to come away with it, it looked like a bit of a kick out there from the opposition player. I have to say I didn't notice this at the time but the ball comes in 
on the far side there. The ref did give a foul. Watching this back, I'm not actually massively sure what the foul was for. A bit of rough and tumble from both of us. And there, there is a kick out. The referee has told me that he didn't give a blue card in that one because he didn't actually kick me, but it definitely looked like he was trying to, and I'm not sure how that cannot be a sin bin at the very least. As Nav's there showing great strength and pace again down that right-hand side, cuts it back to Dan, but unfortunately he just mishits the shot. The ball in possession with Space Dockers again as they play a little pass through, little run off the player, and that is a great finish on the left foot there, right in the top right hand corner, back off the stanchion. And you'll see here the little pass just played through there, manages to find its way through two sets of legs before coming to the player, laying it off and finishing very strongly. So now that is 5 2. As the ball comes out to Chris, he has a little, little go on his right foot there. Never seen him putting one in with that kind of distance. The ball in the far corner with Navs gets properly upended, and like Navs does, he goes down in style. So, little free kick on the right hand side there. Navs looking for an option, plays it quickly to Dan, caresses it into the bottom right hand corner on his left foot there. Lovely little finish from Dan there, just getting across his man. And now it's 5 3. Still a bit of time left in this one, so maybe we can get the other two goals that we need. As a little one-two again there from Navs, looks to play it back for the third time, but it's just behind Dan. The space doggers come the other way, get a shot away, and Joe saving again well with his feet. With the ball still with space doggers, look for the one-two, unlike last time. Dan reads this one and manages to get a toe in back to Joe. As Dan then receives it back in the far corner then, looks to play it off the board, but it comes back off the keeper, and now space dockers are able to counter as the ball gets just put through my legs there with the greatest of ease. That's now one all between me and Dan. And fortunately for me though, Joe comes to the rescue for me on this occasion. As the ball comes down the right hand side. And just as I said, things were one all. That is now 2-1 in Dan's favour as I again get megged. And thanks again, Joe, for saving my blushes. As the ball on the near side now, me looking to put a little bit of pressure on. As the ball comes inside, it comes back to Matt Creasy, plays it into me, turn my man, look to bend it in the top corner, and again, that comes back off the post, just not being able to find the whips that I need to get it into that top right-hand corner, and that is now two of those opportunities I have let go to waste. As I just managed to step the man down the outside there, get the shot away, but it's quite weak against the keeper. As there looked to be a little bit of afters there between Navs and the opposition player as the ball comes back to him there lovely little turn Navs coming back to give him a bit of action back successfully wins the ball and again there that looked like another kick out from Space Dockers Navs giving a little bit of a petty push afterwards which he shouldn't really have done but you can see here Navs outstrength from the man he rolls over as he rolls over spots Navs and jabs both his foot out right into Navs' chest there Navs obviously taking a bit of offence at that giving the push back and for that little bit of handbags there, both players will receive a sin bin, even though surely that kick out initially is worthy of a red card in itself. But anyway, both teams then down to three outfield players for the next two minutes of the game. There's only about three or four minutes left, so we'll almost be seeing out the end of this game here with three outfield players. So Space Dock is then coming forward again, managed to play the little one-two. He goes for a little back heel finish again. Joe managing to save well as we break again with Matt Creasy just manages to get it onto his right foot and unfortunately on his weak foot there he does send it over the bar as the ball coming back forwards with space dockers then and it doesn't get any better defensively for me as again the player manages to pop it through my legs but I managed to come away with it this time I can't quite find the finish though look to side foot it in the bottom left hand corner but again it's quite a weak finish as we just see a replay there of the third nutmeg on me in the space of about five minutes. As the Space Doggers player there with a very untidy looking attempt at a finish, as Dan comes forward, just goes wide off the far post, comes back to me, looks to play it over to Matt Creasy, who comes back inside on the right, plays it to me, looks to get the shot away, and that has come off my standing foot, and I've been made to look like a right mug. As the ball comes down with Steven, I've taken myself off after that final little bit of embarrassment. But the ball comes the other way, looks to slot it in the bottom left hand corner, wide of the post, and that definitely looked like Steve was in the box there. That was a stonewall penalty, but we have been allowed to get away with that one. As Matt Creasy comes down the other and uses strength well to sit off the man, closes his eyes, puts his foot through it, and again, that is off the target. As the ball, then we've got a little free kick, plays it back to Steve, gets the shot away, but that is quite comfortably blocked. 
as we see the ball going over and a free kick for space stopping this time as we are finally back to the full complement of players. Some miscommunication at the back there, Navs has left his man completely unattended and now that has surely put this game to bed as we find ourselves 6-3 down with barely any time left on the clock there. Really poor defending, just falling asleep in the final minutes there. As the ball coming down the near side, looking to try and get one more back on the board if we can. As the player just plays it back to his goalkeeper there and the referee will blow his whistle there full time. So not the worst performance, a lot of action in that game. I can't say that we had more chances than space stoppers, but we definitely had enough chances to get something out of this game. And just like we do, we have not put those chances to pay. So, no surprise after that loss then, we still find ourselves at the bottom of the table as Space Dockers keep themselves three points ahead. But these aren't the games that we're looking at seeing winnable before the end of the season. We've got big games coming up against BFSB and Diabolical, which we'll be looking to try and get six points for to stop us from being relegated. As we look at the stats then, Charlie Nasey has now joined Matt Creasy and Alex Lockwood at the top of the goal scoring list with six goals. Charlie Nasey, after getting himself a couple of goals and an assist in that game, has moved himself all clear in the top of the assist table. So looking at the fantasy points then, 21 saves from Joe, make sure that he extends his lead at the top there. Nabs has now overtaken Matt Creasy after a solid attacking performance from him, leaving him on 44 points. Matt Creasy in third then. 36. Not the worst performance then from the lads, but it is back to losing ways. If you haven't enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment. And for us, it's on to the next one.